Okay, I've got a quick little warm up here of second steps x, y, point three, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So, first thing I want to look at is the order of operations division and multiplication. So, if one was an addition, you'd have to pay a lot of attention to what you did first, but it's not. So, multiplication and division, you just go in order from left to right. So, my job is to factor each of these. This becomes 2x, goodness, plus 1x plus 4. And in the denominator, this has an x squared I will factor out. And then it's x squared minus 6x plus 8. But wait a second, that keeps going. So that is x squared, x minus 4, x minus 2. So I cross off the 1, so I'm not going to accidentally try and look at it with something else. Now, this is a division problem, so I'm going to flip it around. So this goes in the denominator. 6 times x squared plus 4. That is this part here. And then your denominator comes to your numerator. 3x, x squared minus 4. But hold up. x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares. This is a sum of squares. That doesn't do anything. So this is x minus 2, x plus 2. And then I've got a 3x there, so I'm going to cross that out. Now I'm going to deal with this numerator. It's multiplication, so it stays where it's going. X squared factors of negative 12 that add up to positive 1. Positive 4 and negative 3. And last but not least is this guy. Factors of negative 8 that add up to positive 2. So plus 4 minus 2. Okay, now. I've got this all written out like this, and now I have to find what's the same and will cancel. So an x plus 4 over an x plus 4 cancels. Gone. Gone. The 3x, well, the 3 and the 6. So the 6 will become a 2. Okay. Um, what else is here? I've got an x minus 2. Gone. And I have an x squared plus 4 in the numerator and in the denominator, gone and gone. So what am I left with? I have a 2x plus 1 here. I have a regular old x that I'm going to put here. I have an x plus 2 and an x squared minus 3, all in my numerator over, oh goodness, I didn't see this x, so I got to write it again, x squared, x minus 4, the 2 I'll put out in front, and then an x minus 2. Now this is going to happen to you a lot. You get here and you're like, oh gosh darn it, I'm not done, because you want to check x's on top of x's is not okay. So this is going to become 2x plus 1, x plus 2, x squared minus 3, all over 2x times x minus 4, x minus 2. Okay, this is my answer. Now I have nothing that's the same on the top or the bottom and nothing that can cancel. Hope that helps you with a quick little review warm-up of 5.3.